Social media is full of scammers. Let's talk about it. I started five grand, 11 months later, I've got 56,500. I put 400 grand in my trading account. Within about 18 months, I've got 2.65 million. I went on then to double, triple, quadruple. When you are in your 20s and you've got 32 million quid in your bank account. What I do is the following. I teach people just like you how to make an immediate income trading the currency markets. In my experience, and certainly my opinion, it's the fastest way to get rich. How many people are here because you don't just want to make a decent income, you just quite unashamedly, you want to get rich? Let me hear a yes. These days it's hard to avoid being bombarded by sponsored clickbait ads with dropshippers, e-commerce, affiliate marketing and trading gurus who will make bold claims, empty promises and showcase flashy lifestyles that you too can obtain with a bit of hard work and hard earned cash that you must part with to buy their course. Of course. Now a lot of blame is to be laid at the feet of these snake oil salesmen. Whilst little attention is paid to why people still continue to fall prey to these scams. In this video, we're going to dig a little bit deeper as to how these scams work, why they exist and what you should be doing. Now let's start by digging a little bit into the industry as a whole. The two major target markets for social media influencers is health and wealth. Sales in these two sectors is a multi-billion dollar industry. Everyone wants to be healthy, they want to feel good and look good. And everyone wants more money. These two primary desires aren't going anywhere anytime soon and have therefore become the unholy duo of sales and a prime target for influencers in the social media space. We'll talk about both and we'll run some parallels. Let's start with health. The concept of wellness has been around for a long time. Everyone wants better health, better appearance and better fitness. 99% of guys who train want to look good. Granted, functionality and fitness are a big reason but aesthetics play a huge part and this has given birth to the fitness influencer a dirty yet highly lucrative space full of steroid junkies who claim to be natural so they can shield their products in the hope that you'll believe you can look like them. The biggest influences in this space are on steroids. Anybody that's trained long enough knows it's unnatural and impossible to obtain that thick, dry, hard, grainy 3D physique which these influences manage to maintain year round. So let's take a look at these guys. I mean this dude Looks like he came out of the same hyperbolic time chamber that Captain America did. If I got a pound for every time I heard one of these steroid junkies claim they're natural, I'd retire from sports trading altogether. Now let's get straight to the point here. Nobody follows these guys to find out how to bench press or learn a bicep curl or for their platitude quotes or to be told to eat their greens and get enough protein. We follow these people because we want to look like them. We want to live like them. In fact, we become so infatuated with their lifestyle that we lower our guard, put our morals aside and believe whatever cock and bull story they tell us that fits our narrative. The narrative being that we want those results and we want them now with the least amount of work possible. Knowing this, these influencers sell you the pipe dream via their courses and products promising you too can look like this if you buy what they're selling. Unfortunately, there's a lot of gullible gym noobs out there and ill-informed people who are going to fall for this. When I was 17, 18, I genuinely believed most people were natural. The fact that no matter how hard I trained, I didn't even look close to these guys. It must have been my fault. The question is like, you've been training for 13 years and I've been training for like almost 20 years. So if you're not squatting four or five plates Something after wrong. 10 years, Something went wrong, man. you know, you need to go back to the drawing board. Sad part is deep down, we're all suspicious, but we ignore our instincts because they don't fit the narrative that we want. We convenience ourselves into believing they're natural for as long as they don't admit it. Now it works both ways. These influencers are also genuine pathological liars. In fact, some of these guys genuinely have borderline personality disorders. I mean, this is where we get into some seriously deep psychosis here. Some of these guys are so balls deep in their own lies, they actually go as far as telling people how you shouldn't lift for attention and should love yourself and steroids are wrong. You know, I've never understood why some people, they'll take steroids, they look like us, you know, they look like a physique competitor, look like a fitness model. I mean, it, it doesn't make any sense to me. I don't have a problem with someone that takes steroids, the only the issue you'd have is like someone that takes them and then says they don't take them, you know? Like I said before, the fitness industry is dirty but incredibly lucrative. It's a place where attention sells and the guy with the most cartoon-like physique, providing he doesn't admit to steroid use, no matter how blatant, is going to come out on top. Have either of you ever been seriously offered slash tempted to take steroids? 
I've been tempted. I've never taken them before. I would never take them, but part of me is tempted just to be like, do you know what? This is what I look like if I took steroids and was taken for you. Now understand that they're just saying that I do steroids, and that's their interpretation of it. The question was, have you juiced? We yeah. haven't. Simple as that. I haven't. Major, major, major. It's crazy, myth. right? It's a myth. It's a major myth. <laughs> I've been training for 20 years, and I've been juicing, as you guys so-called claim or whatever. Um, then you know, and I'm 200 pounds. I need my money back because <laughs> I've just been freaking wasting money for years. You know, and I'm not getting big because you know, <laughs> something's wrong here. You know. Be like I was by 16 years old, be 275. That's 16 years old, be 275. Now, I'm not a hater. I don't care if a guy wants to use steroids for his own personal use. What bothers me is the lack of transparency on their part and the lack of due diligence on the consumer side. This has created the perfect storm for millions of people to be duped. So the formula is this. Grab attention with unobtainable physique and unrealistic lifestyle. Promise audience they achieve success ethically and package this pipe dream and sell it to gullible, deeply insecure people. Now let's talk about wealth, specifically making money online. This industry works in almost exactly the same way as the fitness space. Everyone wants to make money online. Never have the opportunities to do so been so accessible. In order to exploit that gap in the market, social media has made it easy for fake gurus to chime in with their eBooks and online courses, promising you'll get rich off your phone or laptop while sipping cocktails on the beach. They even imitate this kind of lifestyle to remind you on what you're missing out on. A quick browse through social media, you'll see a bunch of people flexing with jewelry, private jets, sports cars, holding bricks of cash, trading on a beach or a boat or whatever. Just like the fitness influencers, there's a huge lack of transparency in this field. And I'm gonna take you through a few foolproof signs of how to spot a fraud. So the first red flag when spotting a fake trader is if someone is making unrealistic promises or guaranteeing results. If you know anything about trading, you'll know this line of work is anything but guaranteed. If you have a bad day at the office in your nine to five, you still get paid. You have a bad day at trading, not only do you not make money, you can lose money. This is the most cutthroat profession where in fact, most people lose money and you can end up worse off than you started. The reason why you're guaranteed to lose money as a trader is because the very nature of the markets is uncertainty. In other words, if we all unanimously agreed which way the market would be heading, there'd be nobody to take the opposite side of our position, hence no money to be made. Information is asymmetric meaning we all have different access to different information at different points in time. And furthermore, we all process that information differently. Your goal as a trader is to find an edge and execute that strategy. Your edge is your strategic advantage in the market whereby it should be more probable that you're gonna make money when entering a trade. Sounds straightforward, so why do 90% of people fail? The real reason why most people can't make money, even if you tell them what to do, is because they don't have discipline. Most people can't manage risk, they don't have the discipline to cut losses early and ride profits out. In fact, most people do the exact opposite. There's no cookie cutter course on how to rewire your brain in this field. Unfortunately, the only way you're gonna learn is by doing actual trading, losing, and learning from it. These trading gurus conveniently leave this part out. Why? Because if you realize how hard it was to discipline yourself and master risk management, most people wouldn't even attempt it. The mental aspect is too complex to cover in this video, but the point is this. Anybody guaranteeing your results as a trader is a sure sign of a fraud. Two, no proof of authenticity. Just like those steroid junkies in the fitness space who lie about obtaining their physique naturally and do so without proof, the trading gurus do the same thing. They claim they're profitable. They talk about how much money they make or how much their students make and don't provide any evidence. If you're expecting people to buy a product from you, the consumer should be able to trust you. The best way to establish trust is to prove how much you make. What, you turned 2,000 into a million? What, how's I it going? I turned uh, 20,000 into a little over 3 million now. How did you do that? Uh, well, throughout middle school I've been learning about stocks, so I started at a very low age. Now I understand that most people consider this private and sensitive information and don't want to share it for tax or premium charge reasons, but you've already forgone that right to absolute privacy with regards to profitability if you want to teach people and if you want them to trust you. Now I don't mean posting a profitable trade or how much you make in a day. Anyone can cherry pick a good day. Even a monkey can win on a given day. If somebody is constantly posting individual trades whilst peddling their courses, it's an instant red flag. They should be able to prove beyond any reasonable doubt that they're profitable. Unfortunately, there's still ways of photoshopping, stealing other people's screenshots, and probably even other more covert methods of lying. 
but unless you know someone personally, there's no bulletproof way of, provide, of proving beyond any reasonable doubt that you're authentic. However, showing profit and loss statements is the best way of doing so. I've posted numerous individual, daily, weekly, monthly, three month, and even a lifetime PNL at one point in time, all which are available on Twitter. I also tweet daily about trading and often post positions I take beforehand so people can see and even copy my trades if they so wish. The reason why I do this is to be transparent. I've been doing this for many years before I got on social media and I feel like it's my duty to inform people the reality of this line of work. Three, heavy handed sales tactics. Anyone who's constantly shilling their courses is an instant red flag. A lot of these salesmen spend the majority of their time posing, producing glossy videos, marketing their courses and their lifestyle. No full-time trader has any time for this BS. How have you got so much time to produce adverts for your course, run seminars and cruise around in cars if you're a real trader? It's BS, it's not real. Guys, what you must understand is that the number one aim for these health and wealth influencers is to get attention. Get as many eyes on them as possible. Lifting weights, eating healthy, posting education on mindset, showing what a five hour trading session looks like is not sexy. Nobody watches it, nobody cares. Posting sports cars, luxury yachts, beaches, cash, women. This is the kind of content that gets attention. It's pleasurable. It stimulates your senses visually. It's more attractive to see the spoils of wealth than the process of getting there. The gurus and influencers understand very well that when you get attention, you get sales. It's as simple as that. The same way movies like Boiler Room, Wall Street and Wolf of Wall Street all glorified stockbroking, social media is today's equivalent, being responsible for glorifying trading. It's marketed this lifestyle as a shortcut to riches, freeing you from the chains of a 9 to 5 leading to freedom. I teach people just like you how to make an immediate income trading the currency markets. In my experience, and certainly my opinion, it's the fastest way to get rich. The fastest way to get rich. The reality is just the opposite. This is a dangerous, doggy dog profession where not everyone's going to make it. Whenever you make profit, someone else is losing money. You are literally taking other people's money. These influencers are incentivized to lie and post motivational platitudes. They need as many people to believe that they're all going to make it. Why? Because they're salesmen, they're not traders. If they were posting the realities of trading, if they were telling you 90% of you are not going to make it, you're not going to buy their course. Making a course is an absolute risk-free venture. Just like these steroid junkies in the fitness space, if they admitted to using steroids and told you no matter how hard you train and eat clean, you will never look like them, who's going to buy their products? Like I've said many times before now, their number one goal is to generate attention, get as many eyes on them as possible so they can shield their products. So what am I saying here? Should you never buy a course? No. In fact, I recommend people do invest in books and courses. The whole point of this video was to demonstrate how blurred the lines have become. These frauds have given the industry such a bad name that it has become so difficult to differentiate between who's genuine and who's not. Unfortunately, anyone selling any educational material is instantly painted as a fraud. I've even been accused of being a fraud, believe it or not. And whilst it's hard not to take it personally, I understand how distrustful people have become. I don't hide anything about my intentions. Whilst I started Twitter to be transparent about my trading journey, I've recently gone down the route of creating a video pack where I've recorded and analyzed my trades so people can see the exact methods I use. To prove I use these methods, I've even gone a step further where people can tune into my live streams to watch me trade live and learn or even mirror my positions. I charge very affordable prices for my content. There are some extortionately priced courses out there which in my opinion is unethical. The value of my content is far greater than what I'm charging. The prices are more of a reflection of the time spent creating it than what's in it. The whole point of me creating my paid content is for it to be accessible to as many people as possible who want to learn. As I creep into the higher bands of premium charge, it also helps me earn a bit of money on the site too. I help you and you help me. It's as simple as that and I don't make any bones about it. If you want to make it as a trader, if you want to get in shape or whatever your goals are, it's your responsibility to be brutally honest with yourself, honest about your goals, how far you are from achieving them and what skills you currently have that are going to take you where you say you want to go. So if you want to be a profitable trader, what's your edge in the markets? What's your strike rate? How disciplined are you when it comes to managing risk? If you have none of these skills, you really think buying a cookie cutter course is going to make you rich? The goal of paying for educational material is to get you on track and show you the right way of doing things. That way you're not spinning your wheels for nothing, expending energy on trying to figure out what works. If you pay a personal trainer, it's his duty to tell you what to eat and how to train. 
It's up to him to show you the way. It's up to you to get the results. Why is that any different in trading? So back to the shortcut thing. People think just because they paid for my video pack or paid to watch me trade live that they're gonna be successful. That's not even 10% of the battle. The whole point of buying a course, like I said, a video pack or whatever, is to get you on track. You have to put in the work. Everyone that buys my video pack, I tell them, watch the videos over and over again, imbibe the knowledge, practice copying my strategies, ask me questions. If there's stuff you want me to add to the pack or the course, let me know and I can work that for you. Most people don't even finish the video pack. And when it came to my live streams, I streamed myself trading for 30 days live. Australian racing, UK racing, test cricket. A lot of people couldn't even be bothered to wake up on time. Trading isn't a nine to five. You go where the opportunity is and you plan your schedule around it accordingly, no matter what the hour. If you're serious about making money, it doesn't matter what time of the day it is. Only a handful of people followed me to a T for 30 days. And guess what? They made money. Like I said before, a mentor's job is to show you the way, not guarantee your results. So anyone guaranteeing you results is not a real mentor. They're a snake oil salesman. I'm not saying you shouldn't buy a course because everyone has to start somewhere. The point of this video was to tell you that you should always do your due diligence on who is selling what and whether or not they're legitimately making money practicing what they preach. Teaching is something that I would never do full time as I make far more money trading and I love trading. I've given a lot of blood, sweat and tears to learning this skill. In fact, why would anyone who's legitimately making money trading dedicate all their time to mass marketing a course? If you're really making fortunes trading every day, why are you so aggressively marketing your courses? What are you making up for? The truth is, the best guys never teach. I, I, want, I want your opinion. Yeah. Like, what do you think about courses? Common sense would say like, if you're a millionaire and you're doing great, then why bother selling course? Exactly. Okay, what's your response to that? Okay, what trumps all those like critics? Oh, well, hold on though. Yeah. So again, why, why sell a course? Have you ever wondered why Warren Buffett doesn't mass market investment courses? Or why Tiger Woods doesn't give golf lessons? They're too successful practicing what others preach. A lot of these gurus are looking to enrich their own lives, not yours. We live in a day and age of instant gratification where people wanna get rich without doing the work and there's people out there willing to sell you that pipe dream. It's up to you to make these guys disappear. And in order to cut the head off the snake, you need to arm yourself with the right knowledge and be honest about where you say you want to go and how you're going to get there. Don't take anybody's word as gospel. Not even mine. Always do your due diligence and ask yourself these three questions before choosing a mentor. Where am I currently? Where do I want to go? And what skills are going to get me there? I promise you, if you ask these questions and you approach your goal in a sensible, honest way, they're going to be the best filter for you to finding the right mentor. I hope this video has helped you to spot scammers, why they do what they do, and what it takes to really make it. If there's any other subjects you guys want me to talk about, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you soon.